Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Esther Chandran. Police are hunting for six lone sharks high on the wanted list, including the chief of a notorious group of Alongs in Slango. On Monday, Slango police released photos of four people said to be in the top management level of Along Group K9 Crystal Gems Enterprise. Slango Police Chief Deputy Commissioner Datuk Khalid Abu Bakar says the group is well organised with a headquarters officers in various places. It also has people taking care of accounts, debt collection, abduction, splashing paint and distributing posters. He says initial investigations has revealed that the K9 group has been operating since 2006. It has been collecting 40,000 ringgit each day from debtors. DCP Khalid adds that five suspects have been arrested and remanded. Deputy Prime Minister Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin wants civil servants to focus on efforts to resolve economic issues by identifying priorities and making decisions in a timely manner. He says attention should be given to working style and coordinating roles and responsibilities to be more effective. He also emphasizes the importance of making quick and accurate decisions because the people are waiting to see the outcome of government projects. Muhyiddin also reminds civil servants that the slogan People First from the One Malaysia concept stresses on accountability in giving the best. Malaysia and Vietnam have reached a broad understanding to solve their overlapping claims in the South China Sea, including parts of the Spratly Islands. Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Tun Razak says both countries have sorted out the portions each country owns in the stretch of waters through a joint submission to the United Nations to extend their maritime territories. The joint submission, which was lodged with the United Nations on May 6, was made under the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea Procedures for countries ex seeking to extend their continental shelf limits beyond the original 200 nautical mile limit. He said this at a press conference Monday at the ASEAN South Korea Commemorative Summit. Good news for those who want to fly to Chennai from Penang. Air Asia Chief Executive Officer Datuk Sri Tony Fernandez says the Transport Ministry has approved of its plan and the airline is currently ironing out the details at the Penang International Airport. Air Asia will fly to Chennai from Penang daily, latest by October. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Esther Chandran. Thanks for watching.